errors do happen on the website and instead of throwing the ugly and rather too detailed error stacks on the web page, we would like to have more graceful error pages. That also makes our site look more professional. In this video, we will take an existing Spring Boot app we had built earlier in our video, Spring Boot, externalizing JavaScript containing Timeleaf model attributes. However, it can be any web app. In this case, we are using Timeleaf template engine for the demo. We will first demonstrate how an error will be shown without any error page. Next, we will implement the error page and then demonstrate that now that error page is shown for the error condition. We will then show how to show different error pages for different error conditions like a 404 error page. So let's get started. I have my Spring Tool Suite open. Here is the project we had built earlier in my video, Spring Boot, externalizing JavaScript containing Timeleaf model attributes. Please watch it if you want to learn more about it. Let's first run this project by right clicking and choosing Run as Spring Boot App. Let's go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 slash demo slash my page and here we see the output page. So the user enters an invalid URL so let's append a 1 at the end. Now this throws this ugly error page for 404 or page not found and we certainly do not want this page to be shown to our users. So let's implement an error page for our app. Let's go to the templates node, right click choose other and choose HTML file, name it error.html. Let's put the error message in there which you want our users to see. Save it. Let's relaunch our app. Now that is all you need to do with Timeleaf, no extra controllers etc are needed. Timeleaf sees the error.html in the templates folder and will pull it up automatically when an error condition occurs. Let's go back to the browser and refresh the page and this time we see our error page. Much better page to show the end users. Now the error.html is a default error handling page which is a fallback if there is no specific error page defined for an error condition. We can very easily define a custom page for each error code. So for example, if you want to create a custom page for the 404 error, we can create one for that. For specific error pages, we need to create a folder called error under templates. Let's copy the error.html and paste it in the error folder. Let's right click and choose refactor, rename and call it 404.html. So the error code .html. Inside, let's change the verbiage of the error message. Please check the URL you are typing. Save it again. Timeleaf will pick it up when it encounters a 404 error message and for the rest, it will pick up the error.html page. Let's go back to the browser and refresh the page. And this time, we see the appropriate error page. So this is how easy it is to customize and create error handling pages for a Spring Boot app. In this video, we created a default fallback error page which will be shown for all error codes which do not have a specific error page. And we also demonstrated how to create a specific error page for a specific error code like 404. Thanks for watching.